Hey Daily Dosers, Chris here. Welcome to something new we're gonna be trying for just the next couple months. Give us a little patience on this. See if it works, we'll know because you're tuning in. If you don't like it, don't tune in and then we'll know. But instead of going back with a bunch of different staff giving us little daily things every day, here's what we're doing. We're joining this next couple months with our series we're doing here at the weekend. Now don't worry, those of you outside of North Coast, you go, I'm not watching your messages. This is still gonna be really good daily stuff for you. However, if you wanna tune in on the weekends and our messages, we're gonna give you a one-two punch. We're gonna be centering in on this key figure in the New Testament called Peter, one of the most amazing disciples, definitely by far my favorite disciple. In our weekend services, we're doing the book of Mark. Mark was a traveling companion of Peter, maybe one of Peter's convert, and he is writing Peter's memoirs, if you will, his traveling messages down, and we have this gospel of Mark. Here on The Daily Dose, we're doing the book of 1 Peter. Ironically, probably not pinned by Peter himself. In fact, Silas at this time, his traveling companion, is doing most of the note-taking and the writing on this. And at this time in 1 Peter, Mark is also with them. So we have this crew of three guys getting together, putting down, writing from Babylon, the heart of the Roman Empire, to a bunch of Christians that are scattered abroad. Christians that are finding it's a tough day and age to be a Christian. Christians who are finding a lot of persecution in their life. Christians that are realizing, is this worth it? What keeps me going? What is my daily dose, if you will, that gets me up every morning and allows me to go to work and go through the streets of a Greek and Roman empire and maintain who I am in Christ? This message is to them. You see, this message is to you. This message is for us. Only the first couple verses in 1 Peter, we're hitting today. It reads like this. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's elect, strangers in this world, scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit for obedience to Jesus Christ and sprinkling by his blood, grace and peace be yours in abundance. Man, just two verses, stop. Quite frankly, I don't need the rest of the book. Two verses, may I remind you where you are today with what you're going through today as a Christian in a world that seems like everything opposes us, everything is stacked against us. Can I just remind you of a couple things? This is coming from your apostle, a messenger, one who was sent by God to the elect, to those of you that have been chosen, have been adopted by foreknowledge, a God that knows past, present, and future, and still chooses you. Everything about you and still chooses you. By the work of the Holy Spirit, the very Spirit of God that now sets us apart, makes us sanctified through obedience. You now have a new plan and a new purpose. Why? Because of Jesus Christ and what he did. Two verses. There is a God that knows everything about you, who you are, what you've done, where you've come from, and still, he chooses you. There's a Holy Spirit that has set you apart, that has cleansed the decks, if you will, that has sanctified you. You now have a new person, a new role, a new identity in life that you get to live out and live up to. And Jesus Christ, it's a risen Jesus who forgives us daily, that life of Christ in us and walks with us. You know what the result, he says is? This last line again. 1 Peter 1, 2, grace and peace be yours in abundance. He knows he's writing to a bunch of Christians that are scattered. He knows he's writing to a bunch of Christians who are finding it really tough to hold on to Christ in today's society. And yet he says, may I remind you, there's a God who knows everything and still chose you. You've been hunted down. You've been adopted. A spirit of God that has set you apart. And because of Jesus, you now have grace and and peace and abundance. You, you, you not only have a new destiny, you have a new destination for eternity. He goes, let me remind you Christians, this is who you are. This is what God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Son has done in your life. Now over the next few verses through 1 Peter, one book we're gonna cover this month, let us take you through what that means for you as a Christian and the life that you face, the persecution you're under. On the weekends, the teaching, the preaching of Peter through his writer, Mark. On Daily Dose, the book, 1 Peter. Silas, his secretary, writing it down. As Peter, Silas, and Mark sit together and go, let's tell you who this Jesus is and what he does for your life. Hang on for the journey, Daily Dosers. This is gonna be a ride.